let's do a little shopping. I like to reach out and I like to leave a little bit of a note. So I give this a $500 camera that he can keep it. It's out of my budget. Tiny dust. I turned that lemon into lemonade. What's up y'all and welcome to this video. You know, it's been a while since we shopped together. Let's fix that. Let's do a little shopping. For some reason, I've had my mind on Chinon cameras. Ever since I helped my friend Nia's sister find her camera, which was a Chinon, I've been really interested in learning more about Chinon SLR cameras. From what I can see so far, these Chinons are very affordable. People are clearly sleeping on them. And when people are asleep on a camera system, it's the best time to buy them because the way cameras are going up in price every day is crazy. So I'm always on the lookout for something that people aren't really up on. And that is where I find my gems these days. So I've done a little bit of research here and there, off and on, on the Chinons. And I know the Chinon CM4 and CM5 are supposed to be solid cameras. Both of them work without batteries, which I love. You know I love me a mechanical camera, but they also have light meters, so that's good too. Makes things a little bit easier. So my light budget for today is going to be around like $150. Just trying to do a couple pickups. If I come in way under, great. I just want to give myself a little bit of room in case I come across like a really nice camera. I can still scoop it. So yeah, $150 just to look around today. Okay, okay, this one looks all right to me. Looks clean. Let's check out these pictures. Okay. All right. Let's see what they're saying in the description. All right, this was a possibility. We got a possibility here. Let's keep looking. Cause we don't buy on the first try. We we uh, window shop a little bit. We comparison shop. You want to see what's on offer? Because I know these cameras aren't like super popular. I'm probably really not trying to be spending over fifty dollars on these. Like for real. Hell no. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one right here, I like it. Um, check out some CM5s now. Okay, curious, curious. Okay, okay, this one comes with a couple things. I like this bag. If you don't know, I love me a bag. I have so many bags, it's not even funny. I, I blame it on my mother. She's in the purses, I'm in the bags. And this one is cute. All right, this system is gonna come with two lenses, all right? Two flashes. Um, I don't need those, but okay. This one's probably gonna be more about the bag. Yeah, I think I, I, think I like this one. Let's do it. I like to reach out and I like to leave a little bit of a note. A little bit of personalized message. Let them know I'm serious about stuff. And I think it helps my case for them to actually take my offer because I've personalized myself to the seller. All right, let's see if there's anything else on offer. What is this? Never heard of this one. The Chinon CE4S. Dang, look at this camera. This is clean. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. And I'm like already interested. It just looks, looks pretty. Looks clean. I like a clean camera. Most of these cameras look dusty, but when I see a clean camera, it lets me know that they have taken care of it. It has been treated with love. Let's see. I'm gonna do a little research cause I don't want to see going here blind. I need to know something about the camera. So Wikipedia. Not good enough for college research, but good enough for a quick <laughs> rundown about a camera. All 
All right, so this guy wants people to bid on this camera. Um, the camera looks good to me from my research. I am quite curious about it. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of see what this camera has sold for on other platforms real quick, because I don't want to be, you know, making him too low of a ball of an offer. And I don't want to spend it too much. Like if it's a $500 camera, then he can keep it. It's out of my budget. All right, so yeah, this camera can go for a significant price, and I kind of want the camera. So, I don't want to make an offer that's more than I want to spend. I feel like this guy will be comfortable selling this camera for 50 bucks, honestly. So, I think if I throw that out there and see where he's at, then it'll let me know what he's really looking for. But, all I want to spend is $50. I've already bought two cameras. <laughs> so, I'm going to make him an offer of $45 and see what he says. And I'm gonna send him a note as well, a personalized note to let him know I'm a human who is very interested in this camera, so something nice. All right, let's give it a try. By the way, if you haven't seen my how to buy film cameras on eBay video, check it out. I got a whole little series taking you guys through my methods, my way of thinking and how I go about deciding on like what kind of offers to make on cameras. Okay, so I put in my offers. I feel good about it. I think I put in some solid offers. I bought a camera, feel good about that one as well. So now we wait and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, the cameras are in. So let's get into it. Let's go through each one so I can tell you a little bit about them. So starting with the Chinon CM4. I ended up buying it for $44.99. With tax, that comes to $49.29 for everything, shipping included. The camera came with a filter, a cable release, which I really needed because I broke mine. And it came with a camera strap. So good purchase. Also, the camera does have a light meter, but it is fully mechanical, so that is also a positive in my book for the camera. It's a little dusty right now. It needs to be cleaned up, spit shine, but we're gonna get it looking right by the time I do a review on this camera. Next up, we have the Chinon CE4S, 35 millimeter camera. This camera, I saw it, I saw the photos, and I, it was love at first sight, I tell y'all. This camera, like all of the Chinon cameras, also takes came out Pentax glass, so you don't have to only have Chinon glass on this body either. This camera also came with a power winder attachment, as well as the hand grip. I have to do more research on it because this camera comes with a lot of features and I wanna make sure that I'm exploring them all and really doing what the camera is capable of. But I'm excited to have this camera. I'm excited this camera works and I cannot wait to put rolls through it. All right, you guys, let's talk about this Chinon 5 because unfortunately what I thought was a win turned out to be a loss. And here's how it all unfolded. So Buddy posted the camera bag, two lenses, two flashes, and the Chinon 5. And he said, all appears to be in good working condition. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. Why am I gonna do it? Because I like that bag. I'll take those lenses. But mostly it was about the bag. Adam arrived. And what do we always do when we pick up a camera? You look at the camera and you cock the film in advance, don't you? Because it's intuitive. You just cock it. And because you want to hear... You want to hear the shutter when you're first buying a camera. When I cocked that film advance on that Chinon 5 and fired it, it made a weird sound. The kind of sound that lets you know something was so wrong. And then when I tried to advance the film lever again, it didn't move. It stopped. It stuck. And that's what I knew. Something wrong here. I went to the forums, looking up Chinons, doing my due diligence because maybe the problem is me. You see, I don't automatically assume the seller sold me a bad camera. I take it on my own shoulders. So I'm in the forums, I'm looking around. 
stuck film advance lever. I see some videos on opening up the china, so I open her up. I'm looking, I'm fiddling around. Still not getting that shutter to go. So I go to Walters, they open her up. The owner Rodolfo tells me, this camera's done. The repair it costs more than the camera is even worth. I'm upset because the buyer didn't list this camera as broken. I don't believe he posted this camera not having advanced the lever on the film. Like I said, it's an intuitive thing to do. But to make sure, I did a little bit more investigation. I went to his page and saw what else he was selling. Bro had like five other cameras for sale on his profile. So he sells film cameras. So he knew this camera wasn't working. And that upset me. So what did I do? I left an angry review. <laughs> That's right. But it wasn't just like a raging out of nowhere review. It was detailed. And he knew it was broken because that the film advance wasn't working. And that right there is wrong. He should have just sold it as is. And I gave him one star on all the other things down below. A day later, I get a request from this seller asking me to revise my review because he says he offers a 30 day money back guarantee. After taking several breaths and really reflecting on the situation 24 hours later, I said, all right, he does offer that 30 day return guarantee, but I couldn't return the camera. I'll get to that. So I went in and I revised my review. I kept my words kind of similar though. I let him know. Camera was broken when it arrived. The glass looks fine. Who knows if these flashes work, but I like the bag. Gave him neutrals. And I upped his one stars to two. It's best I could do because I still felt like he tried to bamboozle me. And sure. You might be thinking, it was only $35, Talia. It was my $35, okay? And if he had just sold me the camera working, we wouldn't have been here in the first place. Now, why I couldn't just give the man the camera back is simple. I'd already traded this camera to Walter's Camera Repair in exchange for another beginner camera because at Walter's, they take broken cameras because they need parts to fix other cameras. I traded the camera and I got this Sears KS Super Camera, which is a beginner camera, aperture priority, takes a, takes a battery camera, but I got it because it takes the Chinon glass. It also takes the Pentax glass as well. So if nothing else, this body offers some versatility and it was a straight up trade and it works. There's that too. Things working. Imagine people caring about stuff like that. I turned that lemon into lemonade. Beyonce will be proud. So now let's talk about this Sears KS Super. A quality beginner camera. This camera system also takes Chinon glass as well as Pentax K-mount glass as well, which is great. This camera is battery dependent though, and it shoots aperture priority. It has an L at the top that allows you to save battery so your battery is not just wasting away while you're not shooting. I am looking forward to see what kind of images I get with the system, and I think Utilizing the system will be pretty fun since it does shoot an aperture priority. It's one less thing I have to worry about figuring out that shutter speed. Yeah, this will be a lot of fun. I think this is probably going to be a really good camera for beginners and looking forward to taking this camera through its paces as well. So all in all, these three cameras came in at $129.99 before tax and before shipping. Shipping gets you. That's why a lot of times I have to pass on these cameras because when the ship is too much, I can't engage. With the shipping and the taxes, I ended up spending $170.19, which puts me $20.19 over my budget. I got three working cameras now. I have four lenses in total. After I spit shine these cameras, they're gonna look as good as new. There's always a risk when you buy film cameras on eBay. Sometimes the seller will tell you mid condition. Sometimes they'll say tiny dust. Sometimes they'll tell you, oh, I'm not sure if it's broken. I found it at a state sale, which is why we're going to comment below and call out these sellers that have sold you janky stuff over the years because payback is tenfold and I'm all about that. I had some wins and some losses on this shopping spree. I bought one dud, so that was my loss. But I also managed to trade that dud into a working camera. So we're going to say that's balanced. All in all, I feel good about this. I hope you guys were able to pick up on some tips and tricks of what I do when I'm shopping for cameras on eBay. And if you're interested in learning more about how to go about buying film cameras on eBay, check out my series, Buying Cameras on eBay, to get the steps that I try to implement when I am shopping for cameras. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Anybody who's ever wronged you on eBay, light them up. I'm okay with it. Make sure you like this video too.